Farewell, soldier. See you at the top. Good luck. You know, the book bag would make this a lot worse. You can, getting... you can tie it on to the blue one when you get to it. Yeah. And then just pull the blue one up when you get up there. That's a good point. All right, so there's got to be a little bit of a... What I'm going to do is I'm going to toss the rest of the rope down for you guys. Hey folks, so the, for the remainder of this video, I'm going to be narrating my experiences climbing out of Coyote Gulch because if you listen to the original video, it's basically me breathing very heavily and I don't think you want to listen to that. But I'm narrating this to also kind of share my experiences after the fact and um, this area that I'm climbing out of right now was really annoying to get through and I had enough rope to actually get me through this area too but you, about 100 feet down into this climb I left the remainder of the rope because I didn't think I would need it I figured the rest of it would be easy but in hindsight I wish I had it with me so what I'm trying to do right now is get to my rope and climb out of this area of Coyote Gulch and like I said the rope that I had it's 200 feet long and it would have easily gotten me to the very bottom of this particular hike so I really regret not using it fully but anyway as I'm climbing out of here I'm trying to make my way to the rope and uh, once I do I'm gonna be climbing out of the rest of this particular hike out of Coyote Gulch now this particular area is the steepest part of Coyote Gulch and this is where a rope is really highly recommended you can climb out of this area of Coyote Gulch without a rope uh, but I highly recommend it if you're a beginner if you're nervous if you're unsure the rope makes it a lot easier and maybe next time I go to, to, to Coyote Gulch I might go without the rope but this is definitely Definitely something I'd rather you have if you have any doubts about this particular hike versus not having it and being worried about climbing out of here. Now as I'm climbing it, as you can see, it's much easier to do with the rope versus scrambling out of this rock area. And I will be leaving a link to this exact same rope in the description of this video. So if you want to get this exact same rope, it's 200 feet long, you can get it in the link in the description of the video. So here I am, continually climbing, moving forward, and it is tough. It takes a lot of strength to climb out of here. Um, I, I I saw people struggling going up this cliff when I was going down and I didn't know what all the uh, issue was about until I started doing it myself so I can totally understand that now as you can see there's actually a second rope coming up to the left over here and that's the original rope I brought with me to Coyote Gulch and it wasn't long enough to go all the way down and I bought this rope that I'm using to climb out of it from another hiker that was on this hike at the same time and this is the rope that got me out of there now, finally, that area you see up top where they're both attached, that's the only area where you can actually um, attach the rope to. So make sure you look for this if you plan on using the rope. But anyway, that completes the climb. Me giving a thumbs up, finishing it up. And yeah, that's the climb. I'm, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.